Hello and welcome to Mock Productions. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here with a Skylanders Imaginators news update. We've already had one today. Here comes the second dose of information, and believe me, there is some amazing stuff. So, let's get started. Firstly, with this guy. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, this is Pit Boss, uh, an undead sorcerer. Uh, it's a snake, basically, and he's in this sort of black robe, but oh my god, does this figure look absolutely amazing. That staff is just... <sighs> blows my mind. Um, the figure itself looks fantastic, the black, the gold, and the hint of green for the snake is extremely, extremely cool. Uh, very, very cool indeed. Um, I wonder whether he has legs or actual like snake body, because he's got arms. So maybe it's sort of like part snake, part human. We'll have to see. Well, not part human, part walking around feet, legs sort of creature. <laughs> um, but yeah, he looks really awesome, actually. Um, there's some other pictures of his artwork and a little like sort of coin drawing thingamabobby -o. Um So yeah, he does look really, really cool. The thing is that he looks like his bottom half might be a snake. But I think maybe that's the whole thing of having that sort of robe all the way down. It sort of hides and give him that mysterious factor as to whether or not he is actually, like, a whole snake. But with arms, because he's magic? <laughs> Why not? Um, but yeah, he's really, really cool. Really cool. No gameplay on him, but uh, there is something rather interesting about him. There's this little sort of uh, screenshot of him. Um, I think that there's these different videos going around. We'll continue this though in the uh, in the update as we continue. There's videos going around at the moment where it basically gives like a very short sort of move show. It sort of shows some of the moves and everything like that. And then it also shows off the Sky Chi power. Then it also shows off what they unlock if you put them on the portal. Yes, I did just say that. Don't worry, we'll be getting to that as we go on. However. There's a screenshot of him there, looking extremely cool. I don't know what the heck's going on at the bottom. It looks like crankcase. But, um, yeah, he's got his tongue out. He's poking his tongue out. He looks rather uh, rather awesome indeed. Like, I, and my, my own personal guess on this guy, I would say wave four. That's my guess. We haven't seen a lot of this guy, just like some others. Um, I would say wave four, probably. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. Or at least in 2017. That's my guess. That is definitely my guess there. But very cool, very cool indeed. Now also, what's also extremely awesome is the fact that we now have our first legendary. And have you seen this guy? Legendaries don't look anything like they have before. This guy is gone crimson red. Um, it, it's incredibly awesome. I mean, it really, really is. Now, if this is what legendaries are going to look like, I don't know whether that's a reverse of the colours, because obviously they were black and gold, now they're red. His weapon seems to be very metallic, certain parts of it look metallic. Um, just have to wait and see really, but it's very cool to finally see a legendary pit boss, sort, or at least a legendary. This is the first legendary we've seen, of course we've seen dark editions, they're variants, but legendaries, not a lot heard of, except for now, so that's very cool indeed. Moving on from this, I did say about the move sets, and we have them here. Now, basically, during these videos, it shows off the sort of weapons, the accessories you get. Now, I'm guessing, from what we've seen as well, that if you put other Skylanders on, you're bound to unlock other stuff. Which is just crazy. Whether it be one part or two parts, I don't know. But, obviously, for this one, <clears throat> is Dr. Crankcase. You can see, you get the gun his goo gun and you also get his hat which is rather cool and you can see in the background the guy is wearing the hat this is the whole point of the video or at least this part of the video is to show off both of them having the gun and the hat together which is extremely extremely cool next one we have though is barbella so you get the weapon of those barbells you also get the bottom shin pads which you can put on you can see on that guy there with his camo pants and his robotic stretchy arms and his flynn jacket with i mean you can go through it and probably pick out all the different bits and bobs from this but it's very very cool <clears throat> next one up we have wolfgang and but I, I when i first saw that picture i thought what the heck is that um and that was that's actually his um his slingshot. No, it's not a slingshot. What am I on about? His bow. Um, so you actually unlock the bow and you unlock the trousers. Now you might notice that there's different colours on these different things. Now that is probably the rarities. 
um, which is rather cool to see. You get his trousers as well, or at least his lower half of his body, which is rather interesting. Um, but I, I, li I like this. I like how every single sort of character you can put on will get a specific item unlocked. Now, you can see this guy, what what I see, to have a bin, bin lid hat, which is rather cool. Um, but, uh, yeah. Now, this one's rather tricky, because you're looking at that straight away and thinking you get two shurikens. Well, let me just explain. One of them, yes, you do get his shurikens. Now, the other one, you'll be able to see on this guy that he's got a headband. Now, um, it shows in the clip that once it goes round to the back, there's a shuriken at the very back. So, basically, you get a headband for the, the guy, or a hat, if you want to call it that, and the shuriken weapons. So, that's rather cool to see. Um, so, yeah. Next one up, though. We have chop scotch, and you get a hair, or at least a hair piece, not the hat, or at least the head area. You get just just the hair, and you also get a axe, which is rather cool. And you can see that being shown off there, which I like that a lot. That's really really cool indeed. Then we also get ambush, and I love this because we get his his sword, and we also get that lovely bit of hair, which pokes out of the wooden bit of his um of his top of his head, which is rather cool. You can see Spyro on the left as well, looking pretty weird because I don't know what he's doing he's sort of like flying there but um, not bad indeed not bad um, so moving on from this we then go on to something which has been I think pre-orders but which is rather cool now you'll be able to read or read all of these Skylanders Imaginators core core triple pack now you're probably thinking oh well I mean if you haven't read anything else of course I'm, I'm covering up with my hands but you've probably seen it all um, <clears throat> Basically, it seems as if they're bringing back some of the core characters. Now, I don't know whether this is because they didn't sell or because they want to sort of keep the cores going if people didn't get them or these were the rarest cores and nobody got them. Um, but basically, these have been put up three different uh, combo or triple packs. Um, it's just just rather cool to sort of see that they're sort of keeping with the cores because a lot of people would have liked to have cores come back but we've gone all imag um, <clears throat> imaginators and senseis which I'm perfectly fine with I, you know that's perfectly fine that's brilliant um, but also there's this as well there's a little screenshot here now for two reasons I've got this screenshot one because it shows off the superchargers portal being used so any portal can be used um, but two, it also shows off the packaging, and three, because for bonus, um, it, it also shows the sort of height of the characters compared to that portal. So I know they're not on the portal, and we haven't got like a full-on, that's what it looks like, but at least you could see them next to the portal, and it gives you that sort of, I don't know, what would it give you, um, a rough estimate as to what they look like. But you can see in the background, that pack... Now, from what I can see, that's Prison Break and Zulu. I don't know what's in the middle. Um, I've got no idea. I'm get who was in the combo pack was it's Whirlwind. Okay, so apparently Whirlwind is in the middle. I can't see Whirlwind there. Uh, that might be because of the lightning. Uh, lightning it could be because of the lightning, actually. Yeah, but uh, it could be because of the lighting. Uh, but we'll have to see. Now, there's also another one here, a bit of an up closer look um, with uh, you've got Cinder. Eruptors in the back there. You've got Zook as well, but you've got Zulu. Uh, it's Hyper Beam Prison Break, and I'm guessing it could be Horn Blast Whirlwind. I think that might be what it says there. Horn Blast Whirlwind. Now, I mean, for me, Whirlwind I haven't got. Which ones haven't I got actually? I haven't got the Whirlwind. I didn't get Cinder, and I probably didn't get the Stealth Elf. Although then, if it if that is because these all look as if they're from Swap Force, that's the thing. They're all from Swap Force, which is rather weird. Hmm. We'll have to definitely see about that. But hopefully, we'll get some more HD pictures of what 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 each three of them will look like. But for now, we know that there's going to be uh, core triple packs, which is rather cool to think of. Right now, moving on to something which. I'm actually liking the look of quite nicely because now of course you can't really read the packaging in and uh, well you can and you can't um, I can see that it says Skylanders Imaginators I can see random parts of body parts I can see Imaginate mystery chest and I can see the number nine and also you can see the three different chests 
Now, I am wondering, and this is just me wondering, I wonder whether these three different packs of blind bags might have the same chests in but you only get one item per chest i know that sounds really silly but i can't see one chest containing nine items and i can't see why would they do a blind pack if you're just going to get three different colors are they going to be different rarities it says nine on each of them but they've all got different things on the front. It says nine, and I can't read what the rest of it is. I don't know whether it means that there's nine specific items in this one mystery chest pack. We'll have to see. Fingers crossed something is maybe brought up about this, or some information is finally told about what the heck is going on with these. But honestly, I'm kind of liking the look of these. I, 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 you know, I enjoyed the battle cast packs, which were sort of blind packs. Cause you had no idea what you're going to get inside. Um... <clears throat> It's just another thing to add add more uh, add more bits and bobs to get, and by all means, I'm going to be getting these guys just to see what we get inside. I don't know whether you get stickers or something like that, or there's something crazy in there, a sweet or something like that. Maybe I don't know. Who knows? We'll have to just wait and see. Um, <clears throat> so, moving on from that, now we saw the packaging. Yes, no, we didn't see it yesterday. We saw it today, you silly moose. Um, so. There's the packaging for the guys at the top, all the figures which we believe are Wave 1 slash 2. Um, but we've also got at the bottom the sort of more HD look at the packaging for some, not all of, the Imaginite Crystals. Now, I'm, believe I'm still thinking that all the Imaginite Crystals are going to come out on day 1. Now, the ones we've got there are Magic, Light, Undead, Water and Air. Now, I know that Fire you'll get no matter what. If you get the Dark Edition, you get a Fire, Life and dark i'm pretty sure plus those five gives you the eight then you only need two more which in my thing is tech and earth we've seen tech and earth's packaging so hopefully all of that will be to come which will be very very cool um i just find it rather interesting how these guys have been picked for like uh wave one i would have expected taekwon crow and barbella to be the wave two guys and maybe bring in ember and I would even say maybe Hoodsickle, maybe. Just so you've got three new ones and three villains. Which is what they've done here, but just spice it up just just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because look, they're giving us two undead straight away on day one. Possibly even more. Um, <clears throat> but yes, we'll have to just wait and see. Um, we know that wave one and two are going to come out either on the same day or a few days apart. But let me know your, your sort of opinion on what guys you'd like to see come out, um, you know, rattle them off I know probably a lot of people might say all of them good job good job of course everyone would love to see all of them but which one specifically can you not wait to see or can you no is that right yeah can you not wait to see that's fine brilliant good good job um, so lastly I wanted to talk about airstrike <clears throat> now I was, I was having a little look on uh, dark spyro just scrolling through the different pages and somebody posted uh, all this information about his move sets. Now, whether it's right or not, I got no idea. Um, but honestly, he sounds really interesting. But look at this picture, though. He looks amazing and awesome. He's riding the bird. Um, <clears throat> so, from what people have found out, his catchphrase is going to be fight and flight. That sounds pretty cool. I mean, you know, he's fighting and he's flighting. So, yeah, fair enough. Um, they said that Airstrike is going to walk and the bird will fly like above the character i don't know where above the character but somewhere on the character but in this one i mean it looks as if he's just going to ride him like a surfboard which i guess poor poor bird because he's standing right on his head um now apparently there's this move where he's sort of like well, well the bird is flying above him and I'd, I, you probably tap a button or something like that but they're saying that the bird will literally fly down and swoop over the enemies and hit them so it doesn't look as if airstrike will do much in terms of attacking. It's the bird that attacks, which is rather cool. They've also spoke about this sort of crystal air fist thing, and it does like a 360 thing, almost like a tornado sucks the guys in. Then there's this like um, four fists that sort of explode out, I think. That's what they said. Um, what, what else? <laughs> what else? Uh... What else was going on? I've written some of it down, but it was like really brief. Um, oh, that was it. There's these um, the 
but I think I mentioned this. Yeah, the um, airstrike bird or airstrikes bird. Let's put it that way. Um, I did mention that I thought he was going to do some sort of airstrike in a way. Now it seems as if these crystals um, get placed on the ground specifically wherever you fly or move with the bird. They'll place down these crystal shards, and then once you finish this move or untap the button or tap the button again they'll all explode, which is rather cool because that is basically what an airstrike is, which is exactly what we wanted. Um, they did talk about some upgrades as well, where the 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 bird gets mini tornadoes, something like that. They said that there's these tornadoes that come out of the bird and they sort of fly across the, the, the map, in a way, wherever you're attacking, which is rather cool. Um, and another upgrade they spoke about was the def what the defensive bubble okay uh, there's a defensive bubble apparently which goes on to the airstrike itself not the bird the actual character airstrike i don't know whether to call the guy or the bird airstrike i know they're both together but i'm guessing it's master airstrike so he's in control of the bird but apparently when this guy or when the bird does that bombing run with the crystals he gets a bubble on him or a defensive bubble. Why he needs that, though, I don't know. But hey-ho. Um, that's what I've heard so far in terms of uh, people posting uh, what is going on. I haven't seen any gameplay of him, really. Uh, the only thing I've seen is this picture. And also his... Um, the adventure pack. And... The HD picture of his actual character. But hopefully, there'll be gameplay coming up soon. Not too sure when, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see, really. Um... <clears throat> So, yes, we shall leave it there. So, what did you think? Let me know in the comments below. You can let me know about your opinion on the game. And, of course, let me know your thoughts about these new Skylands and the moves. Is that correct about Airstrike? I don't know. I, I saw, the, saw the comment and thought, oh, go for it. And brilliant. So, hopefully that's all correct because it does sound pretty cool if it is. Um, and we'll have to just wait for some uh, <clears throat> gameplay to come along. Of course, you can also subscribe for more news. Um, as soon as I've got, got any news, I'll be posting a news update and going around with that. Of course, you can also rate the video, so I know you're excited for more <coughs> information. And, of course, the game itself, which will be coming out in a month. I cannot wait. It's going to be so, so cool. Oh, it's going to be so, so awesome. Just can't wait for it. It's going to be an awesome, awesome time. So there we go, guys. I will leave it here. So thanks very much for tuning in for the two uh, two news updates today. Plenty of news to be talked about and spoke about. So brilliant, brilliant stuff. Let me know your thoughts. Like I said, subscribe for more, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.